Hello and welcome to Trinity Time, our new Sunday morning slot for disciples of all ages. My name's Matthew and this is Pedro, my donkey. And together we're excited to be bringing you this first Trinity Time. I'm excited. Are you excited, Pedro? Pedro is very excited. So today we're going to hear a Bible story that tells us all about how Jesus knows us better than anyone else, better even than we know ourselves. That's right, Pedro. Amazing though it sounds, Jesus knows us even better than we know ourselves. Yes, that's right. He knows me even better than you do. And Pedro knows me pretty well. OK, let me explain how that can work. So, Pedro, you know my favourite food, don't you? That's right, my favourite food is peanut butter. Yes, I did have it for my lunch. I had it with noodles and sweet chilli sauce. One of my favourite foods of all. So, yeah, that proves that you do know me pretty well. But Jesus knows me even better than that. So you know what I had for lunch, but Jesus knows what I'm going to have for tea. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. That's right. Jesus does know the future. He knows us inside out and he knows every single hair on our heads. Yeah, that is amazing, isn't it, Pedro? But how do we know that? Well, we're going to look in the Bible and find out how we know that Jesus knows us better than anyone else. Now, one day, Jesus was walking down the road in Galilee when he came across a man called Philip. And Jesus said to Philip, follow me. Immediately, Philip got up and followed Jesus. He'd heard a bit about this Jesus and he knew a little bit about him. But there was something about meeting him and hearing those words that meant he just couldn't help himself. He had to follow this man to find out more about him and to learn from him. Philip immediately knew that he had to become a disciple, a follower of Jesus. After Jesus had called Philip to follow him, he rushed off to find his friend Nathaniel. I found him! I found the Messiah! said Philip to Nathaniel. Nathaniel looked confused. Who is he then? Where did you find him? Philip continued full of excitement. The Messiah is here, the one that God promised through Moses, the man who's going to save our people and make the world right. His name is Jesus of Nazareth. Nathaniel wasn't sure about this. There is nothing good in Nazareth, said Nathaniel. I do not believe that anyone good could come from Nazareth. Come with me then and find out, said Philip, full of excitement. Nathaniel still wasn't sure, but he decided to go with Philip to see this Jesus for himself. But when he got there, Jesus seemed to be quite something. In fact, he seemed to know him better than he even knew himself. When Jesus saw Nathanael, he smiled and said, Now here is an Israelite, a true man of God. There are no lies in you, are there? Nathanael was confused. How do you know this about me? he asked. Jesus smiled even more. Before your friend Philip came to get you, you were sat under a fig tree. It wasn't like he was asking a question. He knew that this was true. Nathaniel was amazed. How did you know this, teacher? He said. You are the Messiah. You are the Son of God. Jesus just kept smiling. You think that's impressive? You're going to see so many more things than this, Nathaniel. You're going to see the heavens opened and the angels coming down on the Son of Man. Nathaniel didn't understand that yet, but he knew that this Jesus was someone special. Philip and Nathaniel would travel with Jesus. They would be his disciples and tell others about him. But Nathaniel never forgot that first meeting with Jesus. 
He always remembered that Jesus had known him straight away. He'd known all about him, what he'd done, where he'd come from and who he was deep inside. And because of that, Nathaniel knew that he was the son of God, that he knew everything about everyone and that he loved them and knew them better than anyone else in the whole world. Well, I hope you've enjoyed our story today. Pedro and I have had a great time and we're going to finish now by praying. So I'm going to say a prayer and at the end of it, I'm going to say, thank you, God, that Jesus knows me. And when I say that Jesus knows me, I want you to do some actions. So those actions are going to go like this. Thank you, God, that Jesus knows me. Let me just show you one more time. Thank you, God, that Jesus knows me. So are you ready? Let's pray. Dear God, we thank you for our story today. We thank you that we are all called to be followers of Jesus. We thank you that you love us so much that you sent Jesus, your son, into the world to die for all of us. And we thank you that he gives us life, more life than anyone or anything else. And thank you, God, that Jesus knows me. Amen. Well, I hope you've had a great time. So it's goodbye from Pedro. And it's goodbye from me. Bye bye and God bless. Mm -hmm.